said, it's not clear what the part should be. It's almost like you're inventing a new language for representing um, specifications for programs. It gets a very difficult computer science um, problems. Chip, uh, at the arcade level, we hear that maybe, you know, games sort of peaked and people aren't quite as interested. Are computer games uh, here to stay or is it a fad? I think computer games are fundamentally different from video games, mainly because computer technology in the home can be extended and become a much broader uh, base of technology. Uh, just as an example, all of these programs that we're talking about here, uh, they come on floppy disks, and each one of these holds much more memory than can be held in the memory of a coin-operated arcade game. Oh man, you guys are getting saucy. Getting real saucy. Okay, so here's the deal. I put it up to 60, but also dropped the bitrate to something Twitch can maybe handle. So let's hope that, in the midst of all this, we have a smooth, a smooth retro gaming experience. Mega Man 4. This means I can also click on all the network safe links. Holy shit. That is a Lady Vault Dweller coming into radiation? I don't even know what the fuck. Alright. God, it doesn't take people long, does it? I can put dicks on everything. Game audio down. Yeah, sorry about that. Gotta reboot the old Elgat! Oh. That one's tame? It's a dog fucking a human girl! I mean, I guess that's tame. <laughs> yes, Lizer. Trip, Hawk Trip Hawkins was like. I don't know. As much as people want to pitch EA as, like, the evil empire, it's had a series of well-meaning, like, pretty intelligent CEOs. I think Ricky Tiello was pretty good. Trip Hawkins was a cool guy. He's moved on. Brittany, out of the, like the four or five tattoos that I want to get for my first tattoo, Mega Man is one of them. It's that. I'm just linking it again, man. Um, it's the O from Mother, like the planet. It's the uh, Garland from Final Fantasy One, like the dude who's just like that with a like swoop. I want to get that on like a shoulder or like a bicep. I think that'd be good. What am I drinking? Fifty Shades of Craig, Kirag. I keep fucking it up. This is my depressionist cocktail, which is just Everclear and Cherry Coke Zero. Because I'm a uh, fucking depressive. I'm pretty sure Toad Man is the starting robot because he's a fucking piece of shit. He's a Toad Man. I mean, seriously, look at this guy. He does a little fucking rain dance. Got a Keenan Hearts tattoo. What is it of? I'm curious. Which Mega Man is this? It's four. The first one with a Mega Buster! Which personally, I, I like the purity of Mega Man 3. Slide shoot. I think that's, that's like, oh shit. That's Mega Man, how it's meant to be played. Mega Man 3. The Mega Buster's okay. <sighs> but it's pretty clear at this point they were just like looking for ways to improve upon the formula. Not that I blame them. I mean, you're at the fourth game in a series. We gotta keep innovating. And the fact the Mega Buster's not a bad not a bad addition, but I don't know. Also, it's just fascinating to me to see to see how like Mega Man 1 through 4 specifically, how like the graphics got better, the art design got better, how they improved on the formula. This one's ha has like collectibles in every stage, and if you get them all you get beat, I'm pretty sure. Like they really tried, they really did, and that's that's evident even this even this far after the fact. 
Battle Network was pretty cool. There's a lot of great games that have the Mega Man banner. Oh. Sure, a snail that shoots his eyes at you. Why not? Oh! 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 Ugh. So I'm super unfamiliar with Mega Man 4. So it's gonna be... I'm basically playing this blind. I'm playing it like some... Some asshole in the 80s might have. Probably 91, I, want, I don't know. You play Your Walk? I think I did. Which one is Your Walk? Oh. Oh, man. Look at this. They got like... There's the waterfall that pushes you down, and on either side of the waterfall, it's like a conveyor belt. Tell me, interesting game mechanics. They were trying. They were trying. Favorite Mega Man? X? Mega Man X? Oh! Didn't think it was going to jump that high. And then he did. And then I took damage. Cool story. I thought that guy was going to get me. God, I whiffed that dude so hard. Ugh! Cut his outline with little lemon bullets. Fuck me! I got killed. X4? Yeah, that was, I think... Like, if you like complicated 2D platformers, that was probably the ultimate. To me, X4 was a little, like, too hyper-complicated. I get that it was meant to be played like a million times, and I can appreciate that. Ugh. A waterfall. Nope. Mm. You were six when this game came out? Oof. Or you were negative six. Oh, I got hit by it again. That's it? I'm, a, I'm already at Frogman? Toadman? Whatever. Mega Man vs. Base? Like Mega Man 9? Yeah, I played it. Ugh, that sound. Wiggling. What, really, homie? This is your pattern? This is what you're gonna give me? Really? Alright. Really? Alright. Man! Told man, you're a piece of shit! Brittany, I can tab out now. Because uh, this is running off console, which is going through an Elgato. So we all good. Yeah, Toad Man, come on, dog. He's putting his hands up. I did let him go. I gave him the sweet release of death. Rush Marine. Fucking useless. Alright. I feel like Bright Man is number two, because you use the uh, rain on him and it like pops his bulb or whatever, I don't know. Toads don't have wives or kids. They're all stupid. Oh, okay. Okay. So you shoot the bulbs to make it dark, you shoot the little dudes to shut off fireworks to make it light again. See? They even have stage mechanics? Oh, shit. Oh! Mmm. That one stings. Shouldn't have shot the bulb, dude. They taught me the mechanic. And I wasn't, I wasn't listening. They taught it to me, and I said, no thank you. I'm gonna shoot everything I see. Okay, so they put out bullets. Hip! Hey. 
Here's Bright Man. Oh, are these all the uh, Battle Network variants of the... Is, is all the NES glitchiness in, still in this, or did they remove it? Metal Leaf, are you talking about just, like, Sprite Flicker? Because, yeah, the Sprite Flicker is still in. It's a pretty faithful, uh... And you can kind of see that by, like, the, the like, glitches at the edge of the screen whenever the screen scrolls. It's a pretty faithful uh, emulation, actually. Which is good and bad. I love that sound. Um, oh, I do have Rush Coil. Alright. Are we modless right now? It might be time for some more mods, then. We'll see. Ugh, oh, Deus Ex and System Shock 2 Ghost Butts? Your, your taste and mine reconcile pretty cleanly. Those are some of my favorite games as well. I've wanted to play both of those games on stream, but it's a, you know, as always, a function of time. But there's some pretty great mods for both those games that make them a little more modern. And look at this, branching... Branching a stage path? I don't even know what's going on down here. Oh yeah, this part. I actually played this on, I think, 3DS Virtual Console a couple of years ago. It's like a series of very hard jumps to get to... Yeah, there we go. I don't think you can get back either. I think you're just fucked. I think you have to die. We're calling Rush Coil a lot, I think. Hey! Hello! more. What's all? Well, two more. Thanks, buddy. What? Why? There we go. What's up? I was convinced I was gonna die there. Whatever. I don't need that shit. Yeah, you don't have to click on the links. Theoretically, if somebody marks their links as not work safe, and not seeing a dragon fucking a car is something that you prioritize in your life, then when you see an NWS on a link, you wouldn't click on it! Motherfuck! God, that bullet just followed me. Oh, the scarlet bullet. Brr. All right, I got zero lives left. <sighs> Gotta take a second to rally back. Seriously, guys, this is getting into gamer territory. You know how, if like, if, if you were young and you had a game and you beat it backwards and forwards, you would like play it upside down. Oh shit, what is this? What is this? Okay, there we go. Or you would like, tell yourself, I'm gonna beat this game without using the B button. I'm gonna beat this game without jumping. I'm gonna beat this game without pausing. I'm gonna beat this game, like... This is the things you would do when you had five games total. And you beat them backwards and forwards. So right now, that's what I'm doing. I couldn't do this when I was eight, but I can do it now. I'm gonna beat Mega Man 4 drunk as hell. Slurring a little bit, that's okay. So you guys are in you guys are in meta challenge territory. So you might not, might not see some LG plays, but that's okay. I'm sitting on the couch upside down. And I'm holding the controller upside down. This this is meta challenge territory. Yo! Yo! It's cause gaming's in my fucking blood, man. Hit the buttons. That's why I'm here. Used to, race, used to race Mario Kart upside down on your bed. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You're probably pretty good at it, too. No slur shaming? Am I slurring already? Whatever, man. How does Smugglers run, too? Please hurt him. Yes! Look at 
you piece of shit with your stupid ass bulb on your head. Fuck you. Oh, you can freeze me in place and shoot me with your dumbass bullets. I don't give a fuck. Watch this. Oh, it's really close though. Mm, one more. Oh! Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Mmm. Yeah, drunk percent. Ghost butts? Man, that should be a thing, right? Like they have a breathalyzer? On, uh, at, like, HDQ? They make a dude take, like, seven shots, and then they send him in, like, okay, blow. Whew! <sighs> Alright, you hit drunk percent loud. Like, go fucking speed run this game. Okay, bright. Dust? Maybe Pharaoh? Okay, my memory's telling me Pharaoh works on Ring. Ring works on... Shit, I don't know. What's Bright work on? Skull, maybe? Dive, maybe? Drill, dust. I'll try dust. Dust was right. I'm pretty sure dust is on skull. Skull is on. I don't know. Lawrence, did you all propose? Yes, you did. Cacioli. It's on a sweater, man. Hey! Come on, pop up. I'm... Listen, we've been through three games together. You and I know this game. Except you're already fucking me over. Well, thank you. Joel and I will make a very happy couple. Ah! That shit's not- Oh! They got me. Ring is after dust? Oh my god, what the hell is going on there? That silver-haired lady is just getting positively destroyed by robotic dicks. God. I'm, I'm leaning towards Drill or Dive Man. But I feel like... No, I don't think it's Dive Man. I don't... Winnie the Krispy Kreme? Oh, wait. Summer Taco's leaving? Alright. Thanks for watching, Summer Taco. Am I married or in a relationship? Midnight, I am in a relationship. I'll try Drill Man. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's a pretty swinging, pretty swinging track. I like to think that the robot masters, like, decide what music is going to play in their own stage, and that reflects on their personality. Drill's weakness is Toad. Oh, really? I thought Bulb's weakness was Toad. So it's weird, right? Like, I feel like the shit hasn't changed between, like, Dark Souls and Bloodborne and all that stuff. Like, being equipped with a certain quantum of knowledge about a game means that it will be a different and less agonizing experience than if you have to get all of that yourself through trial and error. I feel like that's intrinsic to the Mega Man experience where, like... Oh, shit. Huh! Got it. Hello! Wow. Surprised I... Did you miss any more Undertale? Dream Mover? I, I don't know how long you were gone. So I can't can't answer that question for you if you missed any more Undertale. Ugh. Go away. Really? Ugh. How the f- There we go. Alright, I think you just have to spam these assholes. Yeah. They take one hit, so... You have to follow that? Okay, you're fine then. No, that's okay. You're cool, man. Yeah, I'm really into that Undertale. That game's fun.
Ugh. Fucking hitboxes. Ladder Tail is too much of a meme. Is it getting... I'm just looking at chat. Is it getting to that point where, like, the game is so... It's getting memed out so hard that it's not that interesting? Hmm. I thought it might be Pharaoh. It's Pharaoh Ring Dust, right? Ugh. Ah. Uh. It's interesting, too, because you can see it in the monster design. They, they implemented all these monsters that have a very short... Of course the, of course the small things hurt you. Um, have, like, a very short window of uh, vulnerability. And that's because they added the Mega Buster, like... They, they were smart! Damn it! These fucking rocks, man. Ugh! I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna jump and it's gonna hit it, and then there will be something there to land on. Motherfuck! Alright. Alright, we'll keep rolling. Yeah, Thor, I'm on Xbox One right now. It's the Legacy Collection. Look, I know you, I, Jesus Christ. I know you enjoy those not work safe links, but you want to cool off on it for now. The key to not work safe links and then being acceptable in chat is that it was it is contextually appropriate. So if no one else is po Mother shit! How do I not get hit with that stuff? If you don't see anyone else posting not work safe stuff, maybe you should stop. Just an idea. But that's gonna hit me! God damn it! Can we get a mod in here? I mean, it's not a problem yet. Spuck, that's like the third time you posted that. You gotta, you gotta cool off on that. Like seriously, stop. That's okay. I mean, was it asked? I don't think. You may have really wanted to post it, and you interpreted something as asking. Oh, call is back. Speak for a mod and she shall appear. How the f shit do you get past this without getting hit? Okay. I think if you, you like trigger one and then you sit there and you don't move. What's up, Kazuki? Ugh. All right. Okay, there we go. It's movement that triggers the things to fire. All right, we figured it out. Milk mod. Ooh. It kind of does, you're right. I can't slide through this one! Arrgh! Can't slide through that either. Give me health! Piece of shit! Give me health! Damn it. Oh, uh, no! That's gonna hit me. Remember those being so bad. Does the game sometimes slow down? Yes, it does. You're you're talking about like sprite lag. So the NES can only display so many sprites in a frame. And sometimes, if you had too many sprites on frame or on screen, you would have to delay the the drawing of those frames and alternate. So like you have one sprite layer, right? And let's say that sprite layer has Mega Man and the rock in it. Let's spawn the rock, and it's like, fuck, okay. Now we've got too many sprites in that layer. I think the NS had eight. So it's like, okay, let's draw, let's alternate layers. Boom, 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 boom. And they understood that, like, okay, if we have the NES running at its full frame rate, like, it gets very flickery, and it also gets really hard to tell that there's something that, that can hurt you. So they're like, okay, shit. Um... How about, we half the frame rate, like we, we split it in two, so we can draw both at the same time, boom boom, um, and then it like, both those things are happening, and 
Like, it, it's, a, it's a compromise that most developers don't have to make now, so... That's just a function of there being too much shit on the screen. Like, for real. And it not being fair if they didn't show you all of it. I can get through those, but man... It's funny that, cause, like... You develop this skill, and then they immediately take it away from you. By, like, giving you these rock boulder situations where... They delayed the frame rate? Not really. I think it's more like they... Cause you can do this shit, but you have to get hit! It was more like they needed to s It's called sprite lag, I think, or... Whatever. Shut up. There's another one. Oh, how do you not get hit by that? Fuck off! <sighs> He might need Skull Barrier. I may. Okay, I'm just gonna go with Pharaoh. I'm pretty sure- that's what my memory's telling me. I also love his pose. The one- With that one up, I can't get it. It's in the sand now. The sand has claimed it. That smiling Mega Man face. I know for a fact there's some shit over there. Boom! See? This is like... That's some, that's some new age shit for Mega Man. Branching paths in a stage? Ow. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Now I'm here? Oh, I got a balloon. Okay. That's good. Do you collect any import figures like Figma, Figure Arts, or Revoltech? Jaminski, no I do not. Um, but... I can understand the appeal. I'm kind of a Spartan individual. I kind of exist in... I don't... Ah! I like... Gamer score? Like, I like there being a digital footprint of, of my life and, like, what I've accrued. Oh, I'm fucked. But, uh... No, I don't, I don't, like, build up physical stuff. I've moved too many times to, like... To, like, collection junk. It's a ball's life. How's it going? I've had a couple of drinks, man. And I'm playing a really hard video game. This is me testing my gamer roots. That's with a Z. Spell gamer with a Z and roots with a Z. Hey, Black Nerd. Didn't see you in chat, dude. Welcome. Hey, man, if you... Hey. If you have to post Neopets porn, if that's what you need to do... If that's what you gotta do, you gotta do it. Kala, you might need to finish your homework. And I don't... What? Ah. There's a robot, a mummy robot, that unravels his own head and throws it, spins it at you like a fucking Beyblade. Somebody built that robot, fucking Dr. Light. Listen, I'm not too drunk to beat Mega Man 4, let me put it like that. Fuck! Shit ass! Do you get achievements for games you plan to trade or sell, or do you keep all your games? Dante, I don't really, like, buy physical games anymore, so... I can't afford it, to be honest. I gamefly for a long time, but I can that shit, because I also realized, like... I buy games on sale, like, six months after they come out digitally, for... half the price of retail, and those give me enough to do. 
So, I'm sure about it, chat. I'm sure. I'm gonna beat this shit. I will. You'll see me. <laughs> Not too drunk to beat Mega Man 4 is the newest entry on the Sontag scale. That seems valid. Are you interested in Mario Maker? I'm very interested in Mario Maker. Uh. Urgh! That just fucking. That was it. This is the stage I have to do, though. I know it. We'll do this shit. Do you believe that there are errors of. <sighs> Alright. Errors of gamers, and if so, are there fundamental differences? Covered Assassin? I don't know about errors of gamers. I believe there are, like, generation gaps. And I believe that. Different people in those generation gaps have different standards that they they ascribe to when it comes to games. I think like uh, I think we're I think we're starting to see the first like I had to walk six miles uphill in the snow type shit happening with gaming right now. I can see it myself. When I when I see people complaining about what they get for a sixty dollar game, and I think about what I got for a sixty dollar game. And for me, it was like, that was it. I got maybe two games a year, because they were 60 bucks, and my parents couldn't afford that shit. And God bless them, they, they tried. So I would ask for these games for Christmas, I'd write out my list, and they'd buy them for me. I would rank them by what the gaming magazines told me I should want. And that's what I had to play for the whole year, those two games. And they better be loaded with shit. Like, they better have enough shit for me to do. For that entire year! Which was insurmountable in 8-bit days. It just, like, couldn't happen. Ah, oh, I'm getting fucked. Which, by the way, what you're seeing right now was 60 bucks. And I'm gonna beat this in a sitting. Probably. So when I see people complaining about Battlefront... A game you can play online with other people, using one of the biggest properties on the planet, with one of the best production values on the planet, with shitloads of game modes, like customization, and people are like, this isn't worth 60 bucks. I'm like, motherfucker, do you have any idea what I... Like, it wasn't even me. Like, what 60 bucks got you 30 years ago? It was like, it was like a 20th of that. And 60 bucks isn't even that anymore, because you've got 20, 20 years of inflation on you. So it's like, dude, shut the fuck up and be be grateful for a half a second that you get to play Battlefront for $60. Free online, if you're on PC anyway. And it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ. Play, play the Star Wars NES game if you're that pissed off about it. And tell me how good it was in the old days. Because that game was not good. Holy shit. Grab with our game before Fallout came out, complaining about glitches before it's out. Yeah, I'm on stair, yeah. I can't even imagine, like, getting a game like Fallout 4 for $60. If I were a kid, holy fucking shit. That's the exact game I, I would ever want to play. I remember playing Star Ocean, like the first one, for Super Nintendo, and thinking, this is the one I wanted! It's got, like, leveling and skills and all this cool shit. Yeah, one dollar, one hour applies when you're, like, a... a desperate kid with a shitload of free time and no money. I bought Batman Forever for Super Nintendo because it, like, promised a shitload of rooms and, like, unlockables and stuff, and... technically, that was all true. But it was a crap... crap game. Shit, made it to the boss. Right on. Ghost Butts, you liked the Star Wars NES game? Well, more power to you. I'll just pose. Oh, okay. I see I see this game. No one but you is comparing DICE Battlefront to every shitty, other shitty 90s game. Comparison is exclusively between DICE Battlefront and Battlefront 2. I can't tell if you're doing this intentionally or not. 
but I can lower my sense to whatever fits my argument too. Spock, I am comparing it based on dollar value. Market value. Does that make sense? Like, 60 bucks is 60 bucks. And also, if you want to play Battlefront 2, go and fucking play Battlefront 2. It's still there. Nothing's stopping you. So why are you comparing a game to another thing that still works and you could still go play? If you have Battlefront 2 on PS2, go fucking play it. To sit there and say, like, I want more, just because I remember it better than it is. That's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. So compare it to the relevant game. There is no relevant game. DICE's Battlefront is not comparable to any relevant game except maybe Battlefield 4. And Battlefield 4 had a campaign, and it was didn't have the Star Wars license, so there's like a lot of... There's a lot of... a lot of ins and outs. There is no... there is no comparable game. What's the most recent AAA Star Wars game you can think of? Force Unleashed 2. Alright, let's compare that. You wanna do that? Damn. Because Battlefront's going to blow it out of the goddamn water. And also, ultimately, if you have a problem with Battlefront, just don't buy it. Don't buy it and don't play it. And fucking pirating it and saying I'm doing something, I'm championing a cause, does not count, by the way. I love this. I love this track. Good fucking themes up in. Compared to people. I don't even know how. I really want to do that. It's an interesting challenge, but... No fighting, no fighting, Shakira. Sorry, guys. I get heated about video games. I really like video games! I don't know if this was clear or not. All I'm saying is, if you want to play Battlefront 2, go play Battlefront 2. But, let's be honest, the truth is... You want everything Battlefront 2 had, but, like, AAA quality. That's what you want! You want to be shocked and surprised. You want to be astounded. You want to be overwhelmed with gaming bullshit. That's fine. That's fine. Just, just, like, be clear about what you want. Don't cloak it behind all this, oh, it's better. Like, oh, well, fine. If it was better, just go back then. My game's still there. What do you think I'm playing Mega Man? These games don't exist anymore. Yeah, just mod B Battlefront 2 with AAA graphics, sure. There are, there are 1080p mods for Battlefront 2. I mean, don't... Ugh. Sorry, like... I know I'm getting a little heated, but it's... It's like a... It's more than just that, like... It bugs me when somebody makes a certain statement and you can tell it's like... Let's see here. Spuckfeedy says... So don't buy it. Stop that. People aren't saying that we're being forced to buy it. We are saying that the herd isn't investing in their future. Less and less for more and more. Alright, Spuck, then... You want to make it a fucking religion? Then go go for it. But, you know what? I would rather play the new Battlefront than Battlefront 2 any fucking day of the week. And if you... If you feel differently, then you can go play Battlefront 2. You can just go do that and be quiet about it. Because that's the game you love, then just go play it. So what the fuck, man? Like, what do you want? Like, you just want more for for no reason? Because that's what I'm hearing. Like, I just, I just want the game to be better. I want it to be more like that thing. That thing that I like. Except I'm not playing that thing that I like anymore because I want a new one like that. But I want it to be better than that. You're not making a coherent argument, dude. You're just saying, like, I like this old thing and I, I want more of that old... That thing. Like, I'm not trying to pitch it as, like, a like an antagonistic thing, it's just... What's... What do you want, dude? Would you favor increased sales tax in order to reduce property taxes? Personally, no, because I don't have property. So fuck that. That... That... Unfairly... Rewards people that own property, and I probably never will at this rate, because fucking property is bullshit. There's a shitload of real estate agents are flipping properties at... Values that push it way above... I don't want standards to decrease. I would be fine if they charged more for more product, but they're charging more for less. Spuck. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you looked at a you looked at a chart telling you that there was less content in Battlefront. But does anything about the fact that the like 
The production values are higher, you don't count that as anything. The fact that there are more game modes in Battlefront, you don't care about that. The fact that there are more, like, customization options, you don't give a fuck. You're just, you're just, you're finding the, the most base mathematic argument you can to support your argument. Which makes you feel like a, like an antagonized, prejudiced consumer. And that's what you are, you're a consumer. I'm a consumer too, we're all consumers. But seriously, dog, like... If, if you're a champion of the free market, then let the free market decide. And don't make it like a religious... Argh! Same shit happened twice in a row. Don't make it like a religious argument. So you're saying the amount of work put into Battlefront 2 is more than the amount of work... In... Yes, Blackbeard, I absolutely am saying that. And if you don't think that's true, you need a serious gut check on what it takes to develop a video game. I'm gonna get hit with this again. Ow! If you don't think I'm if you don't think I'm right, develop your own video game and prove me wrong. Jesus Christ. You think you think a game made now is equivalent in terms of manpower to a game made on a fucking PlayStation 2? Now I'm getting murdered for this shit. Damn. Oh, you're agreeing with me. Sorry, dude. I miss I misread your comment then. Apologize, I'm heated. Yes, I'm absolutely... Blackbeard, if we're on the same page, then yeah, I totally agree. Like, making a game now is like orders of orders of magnitude higher than it used to be ten years ago. Yeah, I misheard your comment. My bad, Blackbeard. Let me scroll up and just... Let me make sure here. Because uh, I feel like if... Oh, okay, so you were, you were being sarcastic. I apologize about that. I read. I read. I'm laughy. I'm super laughy. It's just Buck is like... Buck is like trying to... Damn it. Spuck is getting all prosumer on me and it's... I don't know. Listen, so... If developers just keep to making the same game over and again, you would stop playing games and go outside. Games need to evolve and that's what they are doing. I agree with that. I hope we get to the point you mentioned the relevant podcast where companies start charging more and more and give you a couple of maps and some pretty skins. I mean, they're not charging more and more. They're not. They're charging the same amount, which turns out is less and less because of inflation. So, first of all, that's not true. Also, second of all, AAA games now have more content than they ever have, ever, ever. I'm gonna say it a third time, uh, ever. So, essentially, and and this is like fucking raw math, dog. Like you're sa you're saying because of inflation, you're paying less for games than ever. That's number one. Number two, AAA games have more content than they ever have ever. That's number two. The conclusion is you are getting more content for less money than ever before in the history of video games. And yet, you're going to get mad at DICE because there was some graphic circulating on Reddit that told you there are more game modes in Battlefront 2 than in the new Battlefront. Games like Grand Theft Auto V are out there for $60. That's ridiculous. That's absurd. Mega Man 4 costs $60. 50 probably. I'm talking about one instance, I'm not arguing for every game ever. Okay, so, okay, sure, specifically for Battlefront. What does that game need for you to be happy? Bearing in mind that EA let you play it for basically a week for free. Did you have fun in that week? If you have EA access, you can play it right now. Provided you bought it, which to me is kind of eh, a little lame, but... I'm Joel Heyman arguing about the economics. Man, if I could get to a Joel Heyman level rant, that's, that's my life goal. Let's see here, Schmoopsy says, though, will you agree that the DLC that effectively moves the whole player base into new maps and leaving everyone who doesn't get to see it. That is a problem, Schmoopsy. It absolutely is a problem. So, for Battlefield 3, um, I... I did not get a premium, and then I tried picking it up, like... I want to say five months after it came out, and I couldn't get a match, because I wasn't in that player player base that had... that had, the, that had like, all the all the maps. So, yeah, no, that that is absolutely a problem. Oh shit, I'm gonna get fucked. I need to e-tank. Because I'm on my last life. 
Did you ever expect to stream and have abnormally serious face discussions? I'm not sure what a face discussion is, but I expected to have ab serious discussions. That's what I would hope for. Oh! Oh, Miss Blue! Even got that Caboose jersey? Nice. Every game needs to be just... So, Lamork, that's an interesting point. Every game needs to be just more like TF2 or just more TF2. Everyone should play more Team Fortress 2. Um, so, there can only be a few Team Fortress 2s, and a lot of games have tried to be that. Um, Spuck says, prices could be raised, and I don't have a problem with that. I just don't want price to go higher, while at the same time, amount, not quality, amount of gameplay goes down. A game can be as good as crack cocaine, but if it only lasts for a few hours... Okay, so... Spuck, are you saying that the appeal of Battlefront didn't last? <laughs> you're allowed to disagree. And it's just like voting, like it's like politics. You're allowed to disagree, but how are you gonna vote? I'm gonna buy Battlefront. Are you gonna buy Battlefront? I don't think it's a fight, it's just a it's just a difference of opinion. Pers personally, and, and maybe I'm weird about this, but I have, for my entire life, felt like I'm on the side of the people who make games. And that's even when I had nothing to do with the games industry or like blogging. Dreamweaver, I have I haven't read up on the Trans Pacific Partnership, so I can't comment on it. But even when I was a kid, I was like, there's a group of people in Japan, basically. Who are making games that I really enjoy. And I like them. Because they're making this cool shit. It's like being a fan of movies and liking the directors. Um, so why would you attack them? Would you want to understand them and understand where they're coming from? That's just my, that's my, that's my thing. So Ring, I think, is Skull. I'm going to go Skull. Now that Mario Maker is out and it's awesome, do you wish we could have gotten a Mega Man universe... Jay Minsky kind of do, yeah. But, the, I mean, the community's kind of doing that, too. But are you on the side of the programmers, the companies that employ the programmers and make bad decisions regarding DLC? JC Clifford, um, I'm on the side of people that make game content. Because they make the shit I enjoy. I'm not on the side of, like... I don't even know how you'd, like, not get killed with that shit. I... Uh... I understand that gaming is a business, so I can at least empathize with the people who are kind of like maybe the suits and have to make the calls about DLC. But the way I think about it is, imagine you're a games programmer, and let me pause for a second. Imagine you're a games programmer, and you you ship your AAA product, right? And that's awesome. It's on your resume. That's fucking great. But now it's like, okay, ha. Our next project has not gotten greenlit yet, and we have we have a vertical slice, and we're shopping it around, but it hasn't gotten greenlit yet, and we got a burn rate that's really high, and we're not bringing in any revenue because our two weeks of revenue si or retail sales are gone, and we did pretty good. We broke even on that project, but we're still paying your salary, and we're not bringing any money for you being on staff. So, imagine you're that guy who's like, I just wanted to make video games for a living, and the project manager comes in and says, Okay, good news. EA just greenlit us for a season pass. So we have four DLC packs to make. Which means you have work for another year and a half. And you, as somebody who just wanted to work on video games for a living, now suddenly have another year and a half of runway on your fucking revenue stream. And you're like, awesome. I will do that. Because that is better than collecting unemployment and shipping my resume around with this one AAA title on it to all these other companies who have just sold, shipped their AAA title and are not staffing up. So, you know, it's part of the business. There are goods and bads, but just be a little empathetic to all the human beings in that position. Maybe you, as a consumer, take an affront to being marketed to like that, but somebody gets to make that content. Gets to make that content. Not has to, but gets to. Just think about it like that. If you want a job in the games industry, the more content there is, that just means there's more jobs. There's more opportunity. So that's how I look at it. You know what? Every piece of gaming content that's out in the world means somebody else got to make that. And that's what they wanted to do. And if they didn't want to do that, then it was at least a stepping stone towards what they wanted to do. 
Every, like, mobile game that some developer published. Every, like, piece of DLC, every map pack that some level designer put together because they played Doom when they were a kid and they're like, this is the fucking coolest thing in the world and I want to do this. Why would you fucking say that this is shit? Why would you ever do that? If you like video games, why would you ever try to shout a game out of existence or game content out of existence? It's heartbreaking. That's the stuff that gets me fucking pissed off. I have no problem with season passes, but it, that's a thing. If they're just up front. Ghost Butts, I can appreciate that. I, I also agree with uh, transparency. Like, just say, hey, if I'm going to sell you a season pass, this is exactly what you're going to get. That's the thing I kind of... <laughs> Casually, you've gone through your you've gone through your arc and you're done. All right, man. Thanks for watching. Peace outside. Have a good night. I'm sure you'll sleep well after this. I really want that E tank. I really want it. Oh, they're gonna make work for it though. All these cute little inchworm robots. Ah, oh, I got fucked. No worries, Dante. Have a good night. I just wish DLC pass were s s just weapons and cosmetic stuff, not maps that will split up the community. Linky, I think people are catching on to that. I really think they are. I think that's not a, that's not a unique concept. And I think people are, are learning that. I'm telling you, man, it's just it's just a matter of time. The best practices come out. They really do. Oh shit. Jeepus is Lord subbed. Alright then. Thoughts on VR and education? Oh man, makes me wish I were in school. So hold on a second. All right, we got a sub hype. Wait, where did my tabs go? Oh, I rebooted. That's right. Hold on a second. Let me let me yank up my best up booties again. So yeah, I get. In case it weren't obvious, I get pretty heated about fucking video games. I love this shit, man. It's my it's my chosen medium. This is this has been a part of my life since I was born. So, yeah, I'm getting a little mad about it. But I hope I hope. I hope that that's not interpreted as like disrespectful, because I know I know everybody has their own like opinions, and I don't I don't want to like disparage that shit. Seriously though, some opinions are wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see here, where you at? There we go. So we're on two thousand seven. Okay, the battle, the cosmetic stuff for Battlefront looked really cool. I hope so. I hope that's something I can get into, but I I don't know. I've been playing the stupid ass siege mode to like build up some credits on my phone. So you're going to school to be a 3 designer for video games. That was incredible here to defend the industry. It's truly is a work of passion. The pay isn't great. The hours are long, but it's a labor of love that no one seems to care about. Covert Assassin? So I hope you can chip in on this. Imagine Covert Assassin. That you got a job because of a season pass. That you got hired on because so many people pre-ordered the season pass for Battlefront that they were like, fuck, we need more, we need more designers. And you were one of those people. Would you hate season passes then? And I'm not saying you do now. I'm just saying, like, let's let's fucking like change our perspective on this. That is money. That means people can make this stuff. Right now, there are way more people that want to do it than can. So, so why would you shout out the opportunity for more people to do it? That's what bugs me. That's what really bugs me. Whenever I see people like get heated about about like uh, Practices. I'm like, this is just the opportunity for more people to, to make cool shit and get paid for it. All right. Haven't forgotten, despite my rant, that uh, we have a sub hype to celebrate. So, Jeebus is Lord. He certainly is. Jeebus, thank you for subbing. I do hope you enjoy your sub hype song.
Thank you for subbing. Much appreciated. In case you guys weren't aware, it's a uh, that's Planet Rock plus obviously. Uh, don't stop believing. Planet Rock is kind of the the one that I don't think people would grab. Yeah, I covered Assassin. You'd be ecstatic. A season pass is a promise of a job for at least for a few more months. It would give you work. No season passes, more content for games you love. Yeah, that's how it goes. So. I don't know, man. It really does hurt me to see, like, people, in in so many words, basically tell developers, you are shit, and you shouldn't do what you do. And I'm like, dog, no, no. They need to do what they do. That's what this is all about. All of it. This is what fuels everything. Uh, Linky, I like the Windows 10, I mean, I like the update for Xbox One. Um, it's... It's certainly a lot faster, and that's the only thing I care about. Played the free PS4 game Warframe. I played Warframe on PC a little bit. That was, that was fun enough. Didn't really light my world on fire. Yeah, we're back on the train now. Back on me beating fucking Bigger Man 4! Theoretically. Absolutely. Look at me just charging on, sliding, sliding like a motherfucker. I don't give no- I don't give a fuck! Yeah, Captain Bonix, you're a game dev? I scream and hug. I understand both sides of the argument. People want as much as they can get for their money, but the view has been screwed to where it's just childish. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like that's kind of the crux of it. Like, a lot of people have... have made it their, their guiding principle. It's like, I don't care what you're giving me. I don't care how much it is. I don't care. I just want more. So no matter what you throw out there, I'm going to say it's shit. Because I'm going to be pro-consumer and say, no matter what, it should have been better. That's my job as representing the consumer or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's a really shit attitude to have. Especially for somebody that just worked really hard to make something for you. How about, like, putting it through a litmus and saying, this thing you made was, like, good or bad for these reasons? No? You're just like, no matter what, I want more. Like, I guess to a degree that's very American, but also really shitty. I don't know. Maybe being a programmer made me soft, but I'm just like... People worked really hard to make all this stuff, and... How is it possible that you're just so... Uncaring to all of that? All right, let's see if ring. Let's see if ring. I think dust actually is probably the ring. Ring weakness. This might fuck me up. Ow. Yep, it's not. It's just not him at all. I mean, I can hit him through a shield. That's pretty cool. I might just e tank feed my way through this, cause man, I got two. Uh, I shouldn't. If I'm gonna make the last part of this game remotely palatable. Ow. Yep. Alright. Steam sales would devalue games over time to the point where people won't play for a game unless it goes down to $5 and has all the DLC. I certainly think, like... And... To a degree, that just means that games have become like the, the movie industry. Where they devalue quickly. Alright, fine, buddy. Stupid little skull outfit. God, that does so much damage. Ugh. 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 I just need to die so I can go fight Dustman. Well, Mark, do you think that's the case? That they're... The ones complaining are still children with the roof over the head they're not paying for? I mean, maybe. I think it's more like... I don't know. It's tough. I think... That's not true. Consumers have clear demands of what they want. Campaign, space, and galactic conquest. Think of the demands. But for some reason you keep saying that consumers are demanding infinite amounts of stuff. Can you point to a person that has made the argument that games should be $6 and infinitely updated for free? I mean, no, Spuckfeedy, but... They don't have demands, and also those demands are based off a game that came out 10 years ago, so how is that fair? Also... 
What's wrong with playing the game as it exists and then making a judgment based on its value from that? So then is it wrong for me to shit on a game I dislike when I talk to friends, although when people ask me if they should play it, I just tell them it's not for me, but they should try it out for themselves. Listen, I'm not saying it. All I'm arguing is... Just, like, be mindful of the real-world constraints people are under when they make games. And that... In the, in the specific case of Battlefront, it's kind of silly to, like... Put, put the expectations from a different game that was made a long t uh fucking okay Spuck fuck you for a second you just said do you think it's unfair for consumers to demand that a game in 2015 have as much content as a game from 2005 why don't you explain to me in, in reasons more nuanced than a bullet point list of features on a piece of paper how the new Battlefront has less content than Battlefront 2 which by the way that game is pretty fucking shit. Have you played it recently? It's not very good. I mean, we can be friends, but... What's up, Jessica? Battlefront 2 is not that good. Also, if you want to play it, just go play Battlefront 2. Damn, dude. Like, why is that not the default option? No, don't. you don't need to time him out. He's not, he's not making unreasonable arguments. I just think he's making, like, unfair comparisons. We're not fighting, we're not fighting. We're just having it, we're just having a spirited discussion. That's it. So, like, don't, don't misconstrue this stuff. There's no scaring. Am I, am I getting, like, a little too heated? I apologize about that. I'm just kind of lost why people complain they want a different, different games when they get a new game they complain on the same thing. I mean... Broad, I think that's just different people say those things. It's not the same person saying both. Well, I happen to kill the Indigo Dust. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, I welcome I welcome discussion and I welcome disagreement. I, I definitely don't want to make it sound like I'm not doing that. I love this shit, by the way. I'm not I'm not mad. This is me getting heated. Getting heated is alright. Alright, just want to make sure like the, the tone is understood. I'm not- I'm not pissed off, and I definitely don't want Spuck to get, like, thrown out or anything. Oh, shit! Ugh! Alright, well... There's that. No! Don't time anybody out. This is alright. It's- it's all very civil. That's the thing, it's not getting personal, it's not getting insulting. That's the big difference. I'm not talking to a brick wall at all, I am user. Ah, da. Guys, you you guys don't have to coddle me. It's okay, dude. Like, this is all this is all par for the course. Oh, Brittany Beth. No, it's not like that, dude. You're crushing my heart here. Don't time me out, Jess. I. Right! Oh, I... I seriously believe that, like. If you want Battlefront 2, you can go play Battlefront 2. It's like somebody saying, "Why is why is Black Ops 3 not like Black Ops 2?" And the devs are like, "Cuz we made Black Ops 2. We made that. That exists." Why is Avengers 2 not exactly like Avengers 1? Why doesn't it have everything Avengers 1 had? Joss Whedon's going to say, "Cuz I made that movie already. I did that. It's there. If you want to go watch it, you can go watch it." So Spuck, why why don't you just go play um, why don't you just go play Battlefront 2 and not worry about it? Let's see, Enzomatic says, I don't understand how people have been wanting a new game in a series for a long time. Finally, I'll sit and start complaining. I don't think it's the same people. Oh, that thing keeps fucking killing me. So, Spuck, not, not to interrupt, but like, Galactic Conquest was not that fundamental of a mode. That was basically just like quick match for AI. Um, space battles, also not that fun. Stuck playing the same games until you die? I mean, if you have fun with it, who cares? Some people play baseball every day until they die. Essentially what you're saying now is you want something new, but... When you get something new, you don't like it, because it wasn't as good as the last thing you had. 
So no matter what... So, correct me if I'm wrong here, dude. But what I'm hearing is that you want you want new games all the time. But every new game, every new game, should have everything the, the old game did, and then some. Like, it should always be... It should always be complete plus. Like, if I were playing a Mega Man 4, it should have Mega Man 3 in it, and then more stuff. Yeah? Uh. I, and I'm not trying to back you in a corner here. This is not like a gotcha question. I'm just really curious. Scandal Gaming. This guy just wants a good goddamn game. I, I want a good goddamn game too. But I played the beta and I was like, this is a good goddamn game. It made me feel like I was in Star Wars. And to me, that's... Isn't that the point? Battlefront 2 didn't. Games now may not have more content, but the content that is in them takes a lot longer to develop and get right than it was in the old days. This technology is more advanced programming graphics set to. So you can't expect games to have more content than the old ones, because if they did, and it had the same quality as games do today, then it would take forever to make, and they'd be super dated when they eventually got released. I agree and disagree in some ways. Uh, let's see here. Spuck says, N not at all. This could have justifiably added all those things as long as they added some sort of a coven. Then making a bunch of new modes, example, is a good step. Um, okay, Spuck, like, they have an air combat mode. How does that not equivalent to space space battles? Aside from the fact that there is a ground down there. Furthermore, I think that DICE's take on it is better because they have like the transport coming through. I think the air combat in the new Battlefront is way better than it was in Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2's air combat was kind of bad. It was kind of very bad. I mean, if you liked it, that's fine. You can, again, you can go back and play Battlefront 2. But for me, it's like, it was just a turn war. Uh, I. I don't know. To me, to me, putting a flag in the ground about space combat is the most like I just want something to be mad about argument. I guess. I guess, Spuck. I have to ask you: Did you did you legitimately enjoy the space combat mode in Battlefront Two? Is that something that you just, like, loved and loved and loved and spent hours in? Ow. Yeah, Linky, they did they did fix the... C well... <sighs> um... Personally? And this is what I did with Battlefront. Is that I kept a... I kept a controller next to my computer. So whenever I hopped into a... A, uh... A, like a vehicle, I would just grab the controller and I would use that instead. So, because I need that analog input when I'm flying. Let's see if I can get over there with a the balloon. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Dude, I want more Rogue Squadron 2. Holy shit, that was my jam. Let's see your monster. Remember when Battlefront was announced and they said, Oh, and it's coming out next year. I think maybe more time constraints were things. Sacrifice had to be made. Monster, I'm sure. I can... I would bet that there's a group of people at DICE who wanted to make a campaign but didn't have the time or money to. That's the real world. It's always a trade-off. Always a trade-off. I got fucked. This game 2006 standards are going to be low. 2005. The point is that DICE should have made space combat and improved it. They should have made ground air combat and improved it. Or made some airy content that makes up for it. I'm not as hard on it as others. And yes, I did love space battles. I wish DICE had made them larger and the capital ships larger. It sounds to me like you're just in imposing all of these unfair like expectations on this game and I don't quite understand why again like to get reductionist it sounds like you're saying I want everything that was in Battlefront 2 and I want it to be better and I want even more and and somehow in the midst of saying all that that doesn't sound like a little unfair to you Oh, boy. 
You ram and since dice failed to make them, you refuse to buy it. All right, Spuck. You're entitled to that. You're going to be one of the only few. And how does it feel that your ridiculously high standards are probably going to be on the fringe? How does it make you feel that you putting a flag in the ground about this is mostly ignored and nobody cares? Like, everyone else is going to play this game and have a shitload of fun. And you're going to be on the sidelines screaming, You don't understand! There's no space battles! Nothing about that makes you feel, like, marginalized at all. And I, I hate to be a dick about it, but... That's kind of how it seems to me. And and I I, I hate to be so, like, aggro about it, because I, I get... I, I fully believe that, like, we both want the same thing, and we both want video games to be great. But I feel like there's something slightly toxic in... in those kind of expectations. Oh, Maybe it's a good thing they don't have certain things from the previous game. They can focus more on the stuff that's in this game and make it the best they can be. That's kind of how I want to feel about it. But maybe that's too, like, pro-corporation or whatever. Oh shit, oh shit! I like that crimson chin. Oh yeah, I've been told that. Alright, Llama Pancakes, thanks for watching. And again, like, I really don't want this to sound like, like we're all ganging up on Spuck, because... Spuck, I know a lot, of, a lot of people agree with you. I've been, I've been reading the internet a lot. And your, your viewpoint is not rare. And I also don't want you to feel like you're backed into a corner and like everybody's ganging up on you. I don't want that either. You've been in chat a lot, and you've, for the most part, been pretty cool, so... I don't want to make it sound like we're all, like, making you out to be the villain here. Argument has come down to Battlefront 3 Alpha. You cannot argue against people saying that. I want that. I want the game. They had it right. It's really easy to say that about an Alpha. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. Okay. The footage? Like, it's really easy to look at that footage and say, Oh, man, that game would have been great. But you didn't play it. And I feel like... If you had, you would have been like, oh shit, this game's not done, and it's really buggy, and like, really, like, choppy, and not great. And then... And then, like, it's like, it's not balanced, and it's really shitty. I don't know. Grass is always greener, man. Like, it's, it's really easy to look at that footage and think like, oh, dice fucked it, dice fucked it so hard. I think if people were expecting a, di a different game, but he owns the Star Wars IP for the time being. That's true. Okay, Spuck. Let's see here. You don't want an alpha build, no one does. I wanted that game to be finished and released. I can get that. I really can. I think if that game were finished and released, like circa. 2006? People probably would have really enjoyed it. Yeah, Brittany Beth, it's probably time for another bladder break. Let me, let me kill this fucking guy, and then we'll, we'll all fucking go use the bathroom. I really hope Skull is the... Oh god, please be Skull. Or Ring, maybe? Oh boy, it's not that. Maybe Ring. It's Ring! Oh, that's right, I beat... I beat Skull out of order. Booyah! Alright. It's time to take a... bit of a breather. If you want space battles, there are plenty of other games that does that good. I think it's good. The DICE decided to take what they were good at and concentrate on perfecting that instead of making both ground and space combat have the less quality overall. Captain Bonex, I tend to agree. So Spuck, I think I think we can I think we can reach an accord in saying that the fantasy of what that Battlefront 3 footage presented was very appealing. Cause I would have liked to play that 2006-7 as well. I agree. Uh 
I think to say I want that, but with dice is unfair because dice is kind of their own thing and they do their own thing and let's be honest man these guys are master class are you are you really like gonna go up to dice and say you guys are shit and don't know what you're doing every game they've made has been awesome and maybe you can dispute me on that but I've really I've really enjoyed I've really enjoyed Battlefront 3 I've really enjoyed Battlefront 4 I really enjoyed Mirror's Edge I trust those guys and they're really good at making games so for me it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna throw away all of the like what could have been and just focus on what is and to me playing the alpha was or the beta rather was really fucking fun and all the footage I've seen of the game looks really good and I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it that's just me and I just want to leave it at that like why complicate that narrative but uh you know I can't tell anyone to do with what they want to do with their own time I want a hardcore story driven anime porn game well, Drex, there are a couple of those out there, I think. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's, it's bladder break time. Or bio break. Um, five minutes. We'll be back on this soon. And I can get a ball and put that over here. Then if I want to try out the game, I can just push this uh, menu selection right here, and the game starts to play. Now, you can see I've got two balls. One of Let's do this. We got two more robot masters. Man, I always think the stream hitches up hard when that fucking Elgato boots up. Two more. I'm pretty sure I have the weapons for both. Wait, I feel like Drill would hit dive, so I'm gonna go Drill. I'm Drill Man with the stupid Drill arms. What's up, Sandra? Welcome. I also feel like now that I have... So I feel like that's that's the other kind of hidden brilliance of Mega Man 4? And this is kind of the things that... When it comes to like... They tried and they were trying to make it good and they kept trying to innovate. When they added in stage mechanics that taught you the weapon you needed to use to beat that master. Maybe they had space combat in the next battlefront. Let's see your enzymatic. They are starting with their beloved series and they don't want to mess up their chance. They're just focusing on stuff they know they're good at instead of trying to make a particular group happy. That's a decent theory, Enzymatic. I really do think it came down to... Like, the flight mechanics are in the game. The dogfighting mechanics are in the game. So, like... What is it about being purely in space that sticks with people? I don't know. And it's possible they looked and they were like... We can do this. Don't waste stream time, just stream your bathroom stream. Nobody wants to see that. Dream Mover, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm in seeing me urinate, but... If it's all the same to you, I think I'll just keep that discreet. What's with your intermission videos, Burleski? Yep. That's the point, though. It's not, it's not meant to be figured out. It's just random shit I find on the internet. Um, to be honest, Burlaski, it's kind of a, a relic from Cinematech. I wish to God I could find a... Was it five minutes? Or it wasn't five minutes. I'm sorry, Brittany. That's okay. Nothing interesting has happened in the last 
two minutes, so the split is still fine. Um, but I really wish that I could find a, a vi like a YouTube video or a YouTube channel or something that just does like a super cut of random internet bullshit. And I understand that like everything is terrible and TV Carnage are very close. And as a result, I watch them very closely. But, uh... Not quite the same. If I also, if I use all of my skull getting through these stupid-ass rocks, it won't have enough left for the boss fight, so that's a thing. Hmm. Let's see here. Spuck says, It's not space, it's the capital ships of mass carnage which exist above and below you. It's not space, it's what space allows. I can understand that. Okay. I think you are perhaps misremembering what space battles actually were in Battlefront 2? How long has it been since you played Battlefront 2? I ha I do have to ask. Because you're right. The oh, shit! Those motherfuckers! Um, so... Capital ships were there. But they didn't do that much. They just kind of sat there, and you could fly into and out of them, but they, again, didn't really do that much. You won the game played it yesterday. Yeah? And you got this, like, grand, sweeping combat sense from that? I played it, like, a few months ago just to get my bearings again, and I was like... Alright. I mean, Space Combat's here, but... There's not all that much going on. Shit. Ha! I was waiting to be that dick, but if you own it and played it yesterday, why... Why do you want it again? I guess... I guess what you're saying is you want that, but better. And I guess to a degree I can understand that. Endlessly spawning enemies. Alright, I need to use Skull for that. Weevil Cow, um... I think... People think about what, what it could be. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I don't think that's wrong. I actually think it, it predicates a really interesting discussion about the the role and the expectation between consumer and artist. Is the consumer allowed to make demands? I think Spuck would say yes. Ugh. These fucking assholes. It's gonna be another one though. Okay, I think we're in the clear now. Ugh. Still got hit. I really need some, like, weapon energy. Am I good? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Let's start up a Battlefront 2 remaster Kickstarter. I mean, you, you can play Battlefront 2 on PC in 1080p, and that's it. Remover says, I think you are better than my family or friends in terms of asking Paul Psy questions. Yeah, maybe. Jiminski, I remember a lot of Toonami music, but I don't remember those specifically. I do remember, it's like a lot of good, like, trip-hop beats and stuff like that. Jess, can you not get into matches anymore? Come on, drill man. That's not the right gun! Alright. I've used Bright, I've used Toad. Dust. Maybe it's dust? Please be dust. Ow. It's not dust! Oh shit. It's gonna be dive, isn't it? Fuck! It's dive. There's no other option. Oh, you don't have a PC? God damn it. Ow. Uh. Speaking of Toonami, does to watch it? No, I don't have cable, so. I would like to. Adult Swim was one of my favorite programming blocks. I used to watch that every night, like it was kind of a ritual. Just to be on in the background, it was great. Well, maybe I can learn this guy's pattern in the span of a couple of lives. Odds are low, by the way. 
He just walks at you and shoots you. That only did one health? Hmm. Ow. Actually, maybe. His drills do almost no damage. This is... Not looking bad. Ow. Ugh. Fuck. Damn it! His drills deflect Mega Buster shots. Okay. It might be worth an E tank to get rid of this guy. I can take one more shot, I think. Ooh, that was close! Oh, shit. Ooh. Battlefront is dealing with the same problem Ant-Man did. People are comparing it to a version that didn't exist, and only compare it to... Only compare it because they didn't know of his existence. A lot of people said Ant-Man wasn't good because it wasn't Edgar Wright's Ant-Man. And Zmatic, I think you might be right there. I, um... I watched Ant-Man and I was like, that was a pretty fun movie. Like, that was better than a lot of Marvel movies. Like, top five at least. It's better than Iron Man 2 or 3. Why are people getting so pissed about this? You're a Starbound. I have played that, yeah. Alright, guys. Last Robot Master. We grinding on. Man, that fucking tune, though. Oh! Uh! Fucking wrecked by these. Holy shit! And Capcom knows what, knows what they're doing, assholes. Ah, oh, they made me jump right there. Yeah, I, I really liked Ant Man. I think it's like maybe maybe that maybe that's it. Maybe you guys are right. Maybe it's it's the ultimate trap of like maybe human beings just can't handle the idea that. So there's this thing you liked, but what if it were even better? And it's like, well, it's not, though. This is what it is. Wow. Battlefront could be super awesome. Yeah? There's a lot of things in this world that could be awesome. Paul Rudd is the perfect Scott Lang. I don't even know that character, really, to be honest, so... But I think... I think that movie was really enjoyable. I had a lot of fun watching it. Oh, Diveman.exe. Hold on, let me check this. I gotta wait for Imgur to load up. Huh. That doesn't look too dissimilar from what he actually is. <clears throat> Sandra, you're a fucking crane game sniper. Holy shit. I've never been never been that good at crane games. And I've been kind of envious to be honest cuz I I do I do like understand and appreciate that it's like a a cultivatable skill. I've just never been able to do it. Ow. Battlefront 3 alpha video and Battlefront 2 right in front of us. We have real tangible comparisons. Just the alpha wasn't finished. I mean again, I have to keep saying if you like Battlefront 2 so much just play that. And like, who, who are you to say, to the people who make this shit every day and you never have, I'm not saying you specifically, Spuck, but like, the people who make these complaints on the internet, who are you to say, just do this but better? Like, you, you have, let's be honest here, you have no, fuck, you have no understanding of how difficult that is or how, may, you know what? Let me, let me throw this as a, as an idea out for you. Maybe there was a group of people at DICE who were like, Yeah, we're gonna do that. And they did it. 
and they played it and it wasn't good for one reason or another they did it and it just wasn't right and they were like well shit i guess we need to walk away from this like because it's just not working for all these reasons that you from the outside can't readily appreciate do you think that's even possible do you think it's conceivable that somebody with more expertise than you in this field that you're demanding of them made a certain judgment call and then it might have been the right judgment call? Fuck these goddamn mana rays and shit. It's here. To take your argument to the logical conclusion, spine demand wouldn't exist any longer. Video game companies should just make games and ignore what the consumers want unless it's so roaming they get burned down. I mean, Spuck, yeah. Yes, that that is already the case. Video game companies make what sells because they're in they're in the business of commercial commercial art. If it doesn't sell, it's not worth making. I feel that's that's already that is what it is. That that happens already. That's where we are. Already. <laughs> Happy that your comparison of a Star Wars game to a movie about a man that shrinks didn't sound as dumb as you thought? No, I think it's... I think it's pretty apt, to be honest. What's up, Skull Crusher? Welcome to the stream. Um, okay, Dive Man, I feel like his drill. Because he's got hard armor and you gotta drill through it, right? That makes sense. Sure, it makes sense. He's a submarine. Uh Did that hurt him a lot? No, it didn't. That actually really didn't. Uh, maybe Skull? Yeah, it's Skull. Okay. Most of the vocal vocal minority, but there are so many people... I gotta play the stage again. Fuck! There are so many people that are probably okay with the new changes with Battlefront that people who have problems with it. Shmoopsy, you're absolutely right. When it comes to when it comes to commercial art, you're playing the odds. Skull Crusher, I'm not the best Mega Man player out there. I just got I just got wrecked by a dive man. But still, ow. I'm gonna beat Mega Man 4. I'm not a double vision yet, but... Ow. I'm still gonna do it, so... That's gotta count for something. No, oh, I'm all... I'm all topped up. So here, Joey Jojo says, Even if they had made the game to include whatever space battle feature, etc., there is still the book-to-movie complaint see here. Or they will say it's not as good because what they had imagined it to be. Yeah, Joey Judge, you're kind of right. Let's hear Spuck says, your vocal minority argument is pretty bad. It's just some evidence and statistics that you were talking about a vocal minority amount, not a majority. Spuck, once Battlefront comes out, I think that'll be pretty plain. Spuck Feedy. Why don't you throw up in chat what you think the sales projections for Battlefront will be? What do you think that game's gonna sell in terms of millions of units? Millions of units! And why don't we compare that to Battlefront 2? Just for fun. Let's fucking put it in math, so it's not a not a question of opinion anymore. Why don't we do that? Also that it's launching with like episode 7 instead of episode 3. Sure. Let's go down this road. Let's fucking make this shit as analytical as you want it to be. Let's track this all the way down. Because here's, like... Uh, let's do it. Kickflips, it's, it's okay. Let's focus on the sin. A modless chat is a godless chat. Let me just say, Spuck, I, I can appreciate the intent. I really can. As 
Listen, has somebody got fucking burnt paying $60 for goddamn Batman Forever? Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. There are more consumers now than in 2005. I'm sure they're gonna sell millions. Most people want to throw their money into a toy without thinking about the future they want. So here's the problem, Spuck. You think you're, like, fighting for a bold future where, like, devs are held accountable and have to give you all these toys? How about... Have you considered that your... Your mentality... Your, like, give me more no matter what mentality... Would only just encourage devs to not make games. Because who wants to make games for a bunch of, like... Whiny, kind of like, give me more gamers. Imagine, imagine you're a developer. And I mean this, Buck. Imagine for a second. Actually, you know what? Let's take this first. Let's take this another route. Um, I hate to make this so, so personal, but Spuck, tell me. Tell me, what what is your job? What do you do? Oh, official cranberry. There, there's no argument. Like, we're just talking through an issue. That's all. Most mostly to like generalize it as hard as I can. It's about, I think it's about, as a consumer of artistic entertainment. It's about um, the difference between making a fair market analysis of what you get for the money you pay, versus the more subjective idea of what you could have had for the money you paid. Jeebus, you think it's pretty heated? I don't know. I don't. I don't feel that it's heated. I'm just gonna take a. Okay, so you're working at a, working at a pet vacation place. So, so let's say that you have a certain rate for putting up a pet. And let's say that you have a customer that comes in and says, "Okay, well, ten years ago I paid this other rate. So why aren't you giving me that rate?" And then you have to say, well, you know, times have changed. Technology has changed. In our pet in our pet vacation homes and our, our kennels, we provide all these services. We pet like we groom the pets, that didn't happen ten years ago. Um, we provide food and water to them. Um, we have a, an attendant go around and spend personal time with the pets every, like an hour a day. These are the services we provide, and that's why it's more expensive now. And your consumer, your patron says, I don't give a fuck. Um, I had this 10 years ago, and I imagine in my head now, in, two, in 2015, it should be different. Um, so what would you explain to that co consumer then? You're like, okay, well, you have in your head what m the product that we provide. And I'm sorry, but we don't provide that product at the price you want. Instead, we provide this product at this price. That's just what we do. And we do that because of certain market forces. So you can do that, or you can go, and we will empathize with you, but your desire and your mental image of a better world is not here right now at this price. So I don't know what to tell you. Like, you wanting it doesn't make it real, and your imagining of it doesn't make it manifest at the price that you've desired. What would you do in that situation? Because having worked retail and food, I've run into a lot of people who were just like, I want this because I want it. And I'm just like, I don't I don't know what you want, man. Prices have changed because of inflation. We provide every other surface when Pico adds new services. We add those also for a cheaper cost. Okay, Spuck, but you're, you're like, what would you do if that cons if that customer walked into your your establishment? and demanded certain things, what would you do? You'd probably say, like, sorry, bro. There are real world issues that prevent me from giving you what you want at the price you want. And you're just gonna have to meet me halfway here. Like if you want to, if you want to kennel your pet, you can do it here at this price with these services we offer, or you can not, and that's up to you. But to just sit there and whine about it does nothing. And, sorry, I don't mean to, to, like, classify what you're saying as whining, but... That's kind of what I'm saying, dude. Like, you can... You can either understand that the world is the way it is... Or you can be mad about it and that goes nowhere. That's my point. That's all... That's my point. 
So I don't I don't think like we have to be mad at each other about anything, and it's not a fight, but it's more like getting mad about it on a forum. Oh, oh, dive man, you're an angry motherfucker. Yes. Anyway, maybe maybe this is my work history talking, which is just like holy shit. There are some people who just walk through my door when I'm like working, when I was working at Chicken Express or I was working at GameStop or working fucking Staples. I'm just like, some motherfucker walks through that door and I can tell right away when like five seconds this asshole's come in here with a chip on his fucking shoulder and he wants more than he's, o he's owed. I would look at that penis costume on a car with a fez hat. That's delightful. Yeah, Brittany, I, I worked at Chicken Express. It was a fried chicken place in my hometown. If he's just whining, then we tell him to fuck off. Our relationship with him is different than video game consumers and devs. Maybe not on a basic level, but it gets different as it branches further. Okay. I'm not quite understanding what you're saying yet. But I'd like to hear you out. Please expound on that. Because to me, it's exactly the same. It's money for a service. Is your hometown in Oklahoma? No, my hometown is in Texas. And Chicken Express is fucking great. Jira the Man. Never understood Mega Man, but that looks pretty fun. I'm telling you, if you if you like Dark Souls or Demon Souls or Bloodborne, Mega Man is your shit, man. Same, same thing, same thing. As someone who's played Mega Man X on your iPhone once, which Mega Man do you recommend to try on your first? Jeebus says, Lord, I. That's tough because I, I have no idea what situation you need to play it in. If you're on like Wii U Virtual Console, I would say Mega Man X maybe. Ah, shit! I gotta look out for those assholes. I was... Hold on, plush dick in a hat. Oh, it comes out of a box! Alright, I might have to buy that. If you had to compare Chicken Express to another fast food chicken place, what would it be? Man, I don't know. So not to get, like, fucking alma mater about this stuff, but Chicken Express is pretty legit. We marinated, that marinated chicken every night. And went into this, like, giant neoprene Tupperware container, like all these like chicken breasts, like actual chicken breasts, we throw them all into this tub and like let them marinate overnight in a freezer. And we take them out in the morning and batter them and fry them like it was actual food. And that was one of the cool parts about working there. And uh the sides not so much. We would get those in bags from uh suppliers. The uh mashed potatoes came in a powder form, you mix those with boiling water. The okra came freeze dried, you would fry that. But at least the chicken was fresh. The biscuits came freeze dried as well. I'm gonna tell you it was a good night when the the fry cook or the or the side like anybody basically would like drop food before we closed. They get yelled at by the manager, but then we'd all have a lot of food to take home. Let's see here, hold on a minute. Buck says, our reaction to him is the same. You're asking me to look as at is like a dev, not as a consumer. I understand you're asking me to sympathize. In both situations, the consumer should be allowed to voice the recommendations slash demands. If die slash pet vaccination place doesn't offer those services and refuses to, then you're fucked. It's as simple as that. 
I don't know this question is fucked. It's just like... Oh, no. It's not Fallout. Jacob, I updated the game. I think it's more a situation of... Of, like... Oh, shit, I didn't get... Did I not get an upgrade? I have some empty shit in my... Yeah. I think it's more like... Understanding that some some demands are realistic and other ones aren't. And I'm not saying that your demands are unrealist. Well, I kind of am, actually. I'm saying that, like... What, what, I, what I feel like we drilled down to, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but I feel like we drilled down to, we drilled down to is that you want Battlefront 2 HD plus more. And I don't think that's realistic. I just don't. Especially since it's not called Battlefront 3, it's called Battlefront. It's the reboot. And maybe that's marketing bullshit. Maybe you want to see it that way, but... Ah! Piece of shit. I thought it was going to go up. Alright. Red Kickflips is the only right person. Can we all agree on that, at least? I think we can. Calls back. So, you know... Ah, shit! I thought it was gonna open up. Damn it! I'm gonna slide off this, too, I bet. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You'll think they'll do a Halo 3 Master... What does Master Chief Collection count as? Is that not it? Lay on the floor and feel like garbage. That's my favorite phrase. Man. Ah! This is the new Metal Gear Solid 6 trailer. Konami's doing it! They were just joking! They're still making AAA games. They're not. That's all bullshit. They're absolutely not, and they never will. They're done with that shit so hard. Fuck me, for real. Alright. Go ahead and have a discussion with Colin from Kinda Funny. Does he have strong feelings about... about value propositions? Ow! Colin's a cool dude. We've met a few times. He's... Ow! Actually, Adam's filming, uh, kind of funny content in San Francisco right now! There we go. Ooh, so many strobes! Ooh. That's a lot of blocks of text. So, let me let me make this like statement. I fully support uh, in-depth conversation as long as it's civil, and it's been very civil so far. So, right on. Um, some people in chat may not like the like bricks of text that are popping up, but I'm okay with it. My advice to chat would be like it would be with anybody else in the world. If you don't like it, just look the other way. Eh. Oh, he has strong opinions about gamer entitlement. I wouldn't say that I have strong opinions about that specifically. More that... I don't know. My... My statement is always... Please, every, every gamer in the world, please think of the developers as your friends. Because, by and large, every developer I've met is your friend. They want to make games for you. They want you to have fun. And then maybe be a little understanding of the market forces that require them to operate in the way that they do.
Kala, I am already home. So my being drunk doesn't factor into this, does it? Hmm. Is that going to hurt me or kill me? No, nope, we're good. Okay. Brief overview of Mega Man. I mean, you're basically seeing it right now. It's a lot of jumping, a lot of shooting, and that's it. Your drunk go to sleep? Is it that bad? Nah, I'm alright. I gotta be Mega Man 4. Get down here, bat, so I can shoot you. Uh. See? We're all good. What I say I'm drunk. Follow up, how much does it take to get me drunk? Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty well sauced at this point. But not to the point of, uh, hopefully not to the point of public embarrassment. That's always the goal, right? Yeah, I remember when Valve made games with stories. But that's just not where the market is, and as much as I enjoyed those games, I do kind of understand that. That Valve is filled with people who have jobs, and they have to go home and pay their electric bill and feed their families. And maybe go on vacation sometime, because they worked really hard. Talk about Super Panic Frenzy. I cannot. I am not... I'm not a pivotal player in that relationship, so I can't share any insight about that. I really want that E-Tank, though. Ah, the sides still hurt you. Yeah, I'm kind of anime garbage. Kind of am. Just knows this. Ow, shit! I really want to kill that thing. Uh, let's see. Maybe Skull? Will that murder you? Nope. Good. Ah, j I just want that E-Tank so bad. That's my endgame insurance policy. Please keep going up. Up! Damn it. Please keep going up. There we go. There we go. Not so bad. What were those songs from before called? Um, Orbs, are you talking about Best of Booty? Because if you search for that, I'm sure you'll find it. Assuming that's what you were talking about. Was there a chicken hat at Chicken Express? No, just a polo shirt we had to wear. Which I used to have for a long time, but I think, I, I think I've gotten rid of it. If you could play Drunk Minecraft with Joel Heyman, knowing that he's one of those people who builds and builds and builds, would you? Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Galaxy Express anime is the shit. Agreed. Oh man. I can't remember exactly what the enemy, or what the uh, chosen weapon is for this fight. I'm gonna guess. Pharaoh? It's not Pharaoh! It's gotta be something. Maybe dust? It's dust! Yes! Yes! I'm glad I guessed it. That might, means I might actually be able to- OH SHIT! It means I might actually be able to beat it in one shot. We'll see. Dun, 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 dun. Ugh! 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 God, I got fucked with that rotation. Alright, we'll figure this out. Huh! Ah, uh, shit! All right, I just I just gotta be patient. That's all. That's all. That's all, baby. No problem. No problem. Ooh! Oh, I got fucked. That's okay. No big deal. As long as I don't get hit. Didn't get hit. No problem. Oh shit! Count Bonix just subbed. 
Oh shit! Which means I gotta pull up settings to make the make the music stop for a second. Oh shit! Thank you for something, Captain Bonax. It means I gotta find a sweet song for you. I mean, I get to get to find a sweet song for you is the opportune term. So 2007, also kind of a lame year, turns out. Kind of shit. So we're gonna rock it on up to 2008. That one's okay. That one's okay. Hmm. As usual, I think Dead or Alive is going to kind of take everything. Yeah, it will. Absolutely will. So, oh shit, we got a sub hype. And Captain Bonex, thank you for subbing. <laughs> Dream Reaver, you can totally say what Undertale character I remind you of, and that's not spoilers, maybe. But, uh, <clears throat> Captain Bonex, thank you so much for subbing. Yeah, 2007, shit for music, great for games. If I can agree with that. Was that the, like, that was like the Mirror's Edge, Bioshock, Assassin's Creed year? Because that was a fucking amazing year. All right, thank you for subbing. Let's play your song for you. to go forever as much as I'd like to. Thank you for subbing. Appreciate that. Jay Clifford, thank you for watching. Have a good night. Oh, I got some, uh, got some work to put on Mega Man still, though. Gotta finish this shit out. Oh, thank you for the resub, Sandra. God damn, 10 months. Some real shit right there. Real shit. Ah! Ah, I want to get at least ah okay. I want to get two hits per per cycle, and that's probably viable at some point. But I'm just not not familiar enough with the uh, the pattern. So if I jumped, ow! Ah, wasn't faced the right way. Ugh! Nope. I think I can do this without an E tank, and I would really like to. You're gonna laugh when you meet Alphys? Okay. I mean, I've laughed when I met a lot of characters in that- SHIT! Game. Ooh. God damn it. I'm really pushing it here. I wanna save that A-Tank, though. I'm gonna save it. Fuck it. I'm gonna save it- Oh! I'm gonna play it, play it safe. I'm not gonna be inebriated. And I'm gonna put on some MLG Pro-ass Mega Man play here. He's gonna shoot. Jump and shoot him. Boom! There we go. Hacha! That's not so bad. Alright. Yeah, that hell motherfucker's 
kicking my ass. Brittany, no, it's fine. You just not gonna be inebriated. You just it's mind over matter. Thought to power, no problem. Jump and shoot. Oh, it's an auto scroller. I didn't know they did that in Mega Man. So I'm pretty sure after this, you uh, you find out that it was Doctor Wily after all, and there's a couple more Doctor Wily stages, and then the game ends. Oh, you really needed to get blown up. Damn it. All right, fine. Oh, whatever. Ever clear over brain cells? Fair enough. But I got so many of them. Ever clear and brain cells. So I don't know which one's gonna win. <laughs> Drunk game's done really slow. Slowly. Because it's an adverb. I appreciate that. Also, I approve. I approve of that acronym. I'm really excited for AGDQ. Holy shit. Kind of wish I could take work off for it. I have one life. Zero lives. I should just die and get my lives back. But whatever. It'll be a scouting run. Fuck it. Oh, it's another fucking auto scroll section? Maybe this will be the gimme. Gimme level. Where they just like. Oh shit. Where it's just like really short for no reason. Because the developers are like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> that adverb swag. That wasn't me. That was the, uh. Poor gentleman or lady who came up with the acronym whose name I don't remember. SGDQ was 10 minutes from your house? I mean, do they just let people walk in and watch? Because, goddamn, dog, you should have gone, Jay Minsky. Come on. Oh. Ah, I could have used that. I really need that E tank. I'm not going to get it in time. How the fuck? Oh, you need a balloon? Oh, I really want it. I re oh, okay, good. I huh. Okay. Okay, so I got to do this and then jump on it. Booyah! Nice. Way more complicated than you thought it was? Never played a Mega Man before? I mean, that's the thing, like, it's, on the surface, it's, it's like a simple jump and shoot. But once you get into it, it's like, okay, there's a lot of mechanics at play here. Alright, I don't know what, what this boss is. Look at this asshole. Ow. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll join that party. How do we hit something beneath me? Toad, maybe? Nope! Don't do shit! Oh, okay, he walks up. What was that? Ow! Ah, shit! Three, three lives left. Three bars left. I gotta play that stage again. Shit, I should have E-Tanks. Oh, I will. Whatever. Listen, we're all banking it up for the last last boss fight. And this way I'll get another E-Tank. So it's more just an insurance policy. That's what we're saying here. That's what I'm telling myself. This is Mega Man Strats. That's with a Z. Ow. I can open up. Damn it. Ah! Ah! All right, fine. Ow. Oh! They made me jump into that bullet. They made me. I had no choice. Thought it was Super Mario with guns. I mean, it kind of is. Which is to say that Super Mario was also a lot more complicated than I think a lot of people gave it credit for. 2D Super Mario is pretty sublime when it comes to, like, the momentum of it. Everyone attributes Sonic as being like, Oh, it's fast. 
Super Mario is fast as shit. If you play it right. It's faster than Sonic. Sonic is memorization. Mario is all reaction. I don't remember how I got through the screen before. Oh, come on! God damn it. Oh, I ballooned. I ballooned. Uh, Alright, let's do that again. Nope. That was wrong. That was the wrong thing. Well, it still worked. Whatever. Mega Man doesn't let me drink enough? Are you saying I'm too sober right now? Is that what I'm hearing? Brittany Beth, is that what you're telling me? Because it's a problem that can be cured quickly. This is tomorrow Monday, it absolutely is. And I'll be at work at 8.30 a.m. Working my ass off as usual. Hashtag too sober. Nope. Why do you think I cut myself off at 9 o'clock? Wait, what time is it? Yeah, 9 o'clock. <laughs> Gives me enough time to drink water, take a shower, and prepare. And beat Mega Man 5, motherfucker! 4. Whatever. Future liver transplant. Whatever. Listen, they don't make them like me anymore. Getting drunk as fuck on a Sunday night. Huh! See, look at that. No, another E-Tank. We got five now. We good. Still available a coffee runner? Well, I... Sadly... Sadly... We don't have a lot of openings for coffee runner. As much as I would love to... Love that. Ow. Whatever. Kickflips, you hire you to suggest bad ideas. Openings for editors and mass bonds, not at the moment. Um, it's more of a budgetary thing. We don't have the budget to hire. If we did, we would. But that's that'll change slowly. Granted, if we want editors, I guarantee you the first thing we'll see is like, have you published videos on YouTube? And if so, let's look at them. Do they show the kind of editing style and the editing expertise we want? Are they well edited? We can see that stuff, so. And to be clear, just because you have edited videos and put them on YouTube does not mean that that's all you have to do. Random Gamer Dude asks, how far can game companies steal ideas from other companies before one of them says enough is enough? Cut the shit. Hmm. If history is any, any indication, I think quite a bit. Game design theft is fairly rampant. Like, imagine, imagine that you patented the Match 3 game, game type. Holy shit. Ah, that bullet still hit me. Boom! Pico Panda, are you excited for Battlefront? Yes, I am. Okay. And we got a branching path. Boom boom. Yeah, the 700 Minecraft remakes. Minecraft itself was a remake.
Yeah, there was a pretty heated Battlefront discussion previously, so... I think some... some... Some of the chat that's more used to, like, talking about porn might be a little... Ah, I missed the E-Tank! Fuck me! Alright, well, I'll probably die on this stage anyway. Also, I got five E-Tanks. I'm probably safe for the rest of the game at this point. I heard about uh, Ronda Rousey going down. I don't. I mean, I don't think much of it. In the sense that I don't like, like I have no analysis. I don't follow UFC enough to have something thoughtful to say. Uh. I just. I guess the only thing I have to say is that I think it's really cool that people give a shit about... ...about, like, women's UFC enough to care. That's awesome. Yeah, Brittany, she got... she got wrecked. She got... To put it in parlance that somebody saw on Twitter, she got dumpstered. So, yeah. She got knocked the fuck out. And, yeah, it was a pretty insane fight. She's still an awesome person, though. Like, she still has the per- like, she has the qualities of a champion. And I hope she- like, they'll do a rematch and it'll be- it'll be a big card and that's great. That's fucking great. Siren mess spawns. What I thought was funny about the fight is there's a quote of Ronda Rousey on Jimmy Fallon saying exactly what Holmes will do and saying it won't happen. I- Oh shit. Hold on a second. Elio Juggernaut, I'm speaking specifically about her media representation. She, uh... She did a great job of grooming her, her camera and, and like, public-facing persona. So that's... that's it. Um... Bonsoir Holly, thank you for subbing. We got a bit of a sub-hype to do. And as the, the late aughts were not great for music, I gotta skip up to the next year. So we're going to Best of Booty 2008. Wait, we we're already on it! So we're going to 2009. Hmm. Hmm. Let me let me scroll here. I gotta do some scrolling. God, fucking Kings of Leon is so fucking crap. Total absolute crap. And I'll fight about that shit too. I'll fucking I'll throw down with somebody who likes Kings of Leon. And I know that God is on my side. So I'll win. That's the thing. Alright. This is perfect. This'll work. So fucking work. Bonsoir Holly, thank you for subbing. I'm gonna play this real shit for you. And this is some real shit. Some real shit. track. Super hot track. <laughs> Gotta click on that. Ooh, that is a sexy Vader. God, he's all like scarred up. Ripped. Got those crazy Vader abs. Nice. Uh, I don't remember how to fight this guy. Oh, I guess I'll just shoot him. Oh. Cool. 
Ow. Ugh. 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 Why does it keep hitting me? Ow! Ugh! How does that hit me? It's such an easily dodgeable attack. There we go. Fuck. Please, Mega Man, don't! Yep, yep, yep. Please, Mega Man, no. Oh, Kalinka. See that Proto Man, like, brought her in? Proto Man's a good guy after all. Then we got this shit. Got the eyebrow wiggle. Yep. Da 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 Oh, it's a different song, okay. Yeah, there's three stages, okay. One of them's probably just boss rush, so whatever, who cares. Ow. Ow. Whatever. Wow. <laughs> Ugh. Keep getting hit. Stupid hits. Ugh, who cares? Look at that. Doesn't even matter. Just fucking go through all these assholes. Stupid idiots with their stupid destruction hats! God damn it! Oh great, a water section. Cool. It's gonna be spikes. I'm gonna jump extra high. Ah! Damn it! Song about eating girls out and how to do it properly. Hmm. Hmm. So I have six E tanks. Yeah, uh, just score. That's probably a smart idea. Finishing your homework and graduating is better than seeing some dude yell at Mega Man. Because there's gonna be a lot of that, motherfuck. Oh. Hmm. Schwartz user, I appreciate that gumption. I'll never eat a girl out improperly. Woo! Got it that time. Whatever. Whatever. Look at this bullshit. Like I fucking care. Ow. Guess what? I got balloons, motherfucker. Watch this. Improperly. It is an adverb. Right. Whatever. Fuck! Timing is off. There we go. Pretty much I didn't fuck nothing up. What are you talking about? Nothing's fucked. Zero things are fucked right now. We all good. Yeah, life sucks when you haven't been retweeted by a little bee. 
Man, uh, I want that E-Tank, though. Guess what? I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get what I want and leave. We're already to the boss store. He gives a shit. Ain't nothing fuck, Brittany. I ain't fighting nobody. I mean, I'll fight everybody, but... But I call level would beg to differ. Maybe. Whatever, man. I'm gonna fucking beat Mega Man 4. And I'm gonna be drunk as hell while I do it. So... You guys can fucking suck it. Wow. I got 70 tanks. I don't give a fuck. Oh! Ooh! ooh. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, I'll play that level again, no big deal. It just means I'll get more E-Tanks, I don't care. Can I beat Ben Affleck drunk? Like, is Ben Affleck drunk or am I drunk? Listen. Listen, Covert Assassin. Everyone misinterprets this, what I was saying. I don't want to beat up Ben Affleck. I don't. But if Ben Affleck or any other dude has sex with my girl, I'm going to try to fight that person. I'm gonna do my best to fucking put them in the ground. Cause that's what you do on principle. If someone fucks your girl... You mess them up! It's like, dude, you think you think you got this for free? I don't give a fuck if you're Batman, I don't give a fucking shit. I'm gonna swing at you. And you might, you might, you might take me down. Fine, whatever, I don't care. That's not a problem right now, that's not something I'm considering. Also... If you ha if you have the first shot advantage, oof. shit! I thought I was gonna die there. If you get a clean if you get a clean sucker punch on pretty much anybody and you know how to finish a fight, you can finish a fight. That's all I'm saying. So theoretically, if Ben Affleck or any motherfucker were going to town on my girlfriend, I came in on that. I would try and make a fight out of it, and I would try to try to do it in a situation in which I had a clean first hit. Which also means, I would do it in a situation in which I could pretty cleanly finish the fight. That's all it is. That's all it is. Well, Adam, yeah. The girlfriend talk comes later. That's a hierarchy. Covered, it's not a fucking UFC fight, though. I... Thank you, thank you for your vote of confidence, but it, like, it's not a boxing match, it's a brawl. Oh, shit! I got fucked. Here's a hypothetical. Ben Affleck fucks your girl, but you go to fight him, and he pulls out a katana, which then summons a giant mecha. How do you fight that? Answer you don't, you lose, it's over. Lime Cat, you got a point. You got a really good point. If the dude who has sex with my girlfriend summons a mecha robot... He can go. <laughs> you can leave. And I guess take my girlfriend with you. Whatever, man. At that point, it's almost worth it for the show. If some dude hits a button on his wristband and a robot flies out of the atmosphere and lands and he crawls into it, and he, like, suits up Gundam style, I'm like... You know what? All right. You know what? You paid me back for the broken heart. We all good. We all good. You have a good night. And, uh, if you want, here's my phone number and you can tell me all about that robot you just summoned. <laughs> yeah. Christopher. Fallout, Four, Fallout Force trained me to steal the fusion core out of that mecha suit. And then I just stab him in the back for four times the damage. <laughs> yeah, goes butts. You pretty much nailed the narrative there. I'm gonna kill you! Robot drops down. Okay, you know what? I think we're cool. I think we're cool. You know what? You do you. Who am I to judge? Who am I to say... I mean, you got a big robot, man. That's a really big robot. Jesus Christ, where'd you find that? So my point, you have a question. Oh shit! Official Cranberry just subbed. Oh, actually, I think I just hit. Yeah, there we go. I feel like if I walked in on somebody having sex with my girlfriend, unless it seems against her will, 
You don't think your first reaction would be anger? Maybe just sadness? I mean... And mass spawns, sure. I feel like I feel like there would be anger there. I feel like you'd be mad. You'd be mad, right? Like you'd be frustrated and angry. And it doesn't logically make sense to take that out on the man. But he's a man. And who are you going to hit? If you're going to be a brute. If you're going to allow yourself to be a brute for a while. And I think in that situation it's allowed for you to dip into brute territory. Who are you going to visit that upon? I don't know. Alright, I gotta pick a sweet fucking hype. This is tough, because we're getting into a dark age for music here. But we'll still do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do this. This is pretty good. So, thank you for subbing, Official Cranberry. I also really enjoy your username. So I hope you enjoy your subhype song, because you you've earned it with a great name like that. Oh, so good. Damn, Jam, so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Steph paid, Steph paid her own uh, sub. That should have happened already. Yeah. I'm, I'm DJing Britney Beth's Kinsey. I hope that's cool. Oops, not that one. Ooh! Oh shit. Wow. I'm oh, I, I was trying to pause and use an E-tank, but I didn't. Yeah, dream over. I don't think I'm going back to Undersale tonight. Ah oh, shh. It's mid-level checkpoint. Last life, okay. I'm gonna have to E-tank when I fight this boss again. Cause listen, we gotta we gotta fucking speed track this shit. I need to eat something. And, like, take a shower and get ready for work tomorrow. Ah, damn it! Oh, that's not working. All right, I'll keep working then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruh. All right, Pink Panda, thank you for watching. God damn it, beginning of the stage. All right, at least it's an easy one. Which Mega Man is this? It is Mega Man 4. Ow. I guess I get another E tank. Ugh. I'm like half looking at the game at this point. The amazing thing is I'm I'm actually sobering up at this point. Whatever. This is this is the aggravating thing of having I guess either having an alcoholic's disposition or a healthy constitution, but it takes a lot to get drunk, and it doesn't last very long. Hmm. And at the end of it, you're like, gosh, I just, like, drank 1,200 calories of booze, and... Oh, it lasted, like, four hours? 1,200 calories of a meal would make me happier. Fuck! For longer than that. No, do remember, I'm not gonna sing to you. There's a solution to the sobering up thing. I guess there is, but... Nah, I'm... Cut myself off. Despite... Despite, uh, displaying myself as a free-willing alcoholic, I am actually not. Ugh, okay. You're the opposite, it's the best. God, I bet. 
Being a lightweight is fun. I yeah, that's something I'm actually envious of. People people like lament being a lightweight. I'm like, no, it's the best. Like one drink and you're good, or two maybe. Imagine having to drink like, especially in fucking LA, like having to drink six or seven overpriced ass cocktails to just get a a good buzz rolling, and you're like. I don't know. Fernie says, this is Mega Man 4. And yeah, Brittany, I agree. Being a lightweight is, is efficient. Finally, being an alcoholic and a drunk. Mostly the willingness to go to meetings. Fair enough. Well, I don't want to go into... I don't have time to go to meetings, so I hopefully... Hopefully I'm not at that line yet. I was close once. And I remember that specifically. In line with a lot of my perverse curiosities, I was always kind of curious what it felt like to be an alcoholic. There was one time, a couple years ago, which, not so coincidentally, aligned with my last, last, I say only, divorce. But I was drinking a lot. And there was a point at which I had had a couple of swigs of vodka, and I was like, my body was basically telling me to have more. Like, no matter what, you should just grab that and have a lot. So essentially, like... Argh! That was the first time I felt the tug where, like, my physiology or whatever was, was compelling me... Is it dust? It's probably dust. To, uh... Consume beyond what my conscious mind knew was acceptable. Is it Toad, maybe? No... Is it Ring? It must be Ring. It's not really doing that much... Oh yeah, Alcoholics Anonymous is very Jesus-oriented. Fucking hell, when is he vulnerable? Fuck you! What the hell was that?! It just froze me in place! Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh, what is this guy weak to? Okay, I gotta find something, because this is bullshit. I don't want to die to this guy again. I'm on my last life! Ugh. Uh, resolution problems are fixed. Awesome. I didn't know you had them, but I'm glad that they are fixed now. Oh man, this fucking level. Keep hitting the helmet and he's invulnerable there. You have to hit the plus, right? Am I wrong about that? I thought that's what it was. Yeah, alcoholism is very genetic. Ah, oh, he wasted any tank. Whatever, there's another one up here. Or is there? No, I don't think it... I don't think it re... Nope. Alright, well, fuck it. I have seven. Fuck you! I just gotta believe, clearly. Um... Bright? No? Dr I mean, drill, maybe? I'll try drill. Nope. Nope. I have to wait for the thing to fucking shut off before I can change. Come on. There we go. I f really think it's ring. Dive, maybe? Ah. Nope. Skull's not gonna work. It's It's gotta be ring. What the shit?! Oh, I just have to shoot him. Okay. Okay. I thought it was the plus for some reason. Ah! It's gonna... Okay, I thought it was gonna kill me. Okay, so maybe... Maybe it's one of these other... Ugh. Nope. Okay. Okay, Schmoopsie. That's what I thought. Okay. Ah! I'm gonna run out of weapon energy. 
That's okay. Ugh. Ah, shit. Why is this guy wrecking me so hard? Shoot his, shoot his face, not helmet. For some reason, I was focusing on that plus sign. I thought that was his weak point. I don't know why. Is it possible to get under him without getting hit? There we go. No, I wasn't being sarcastic when I said alcoholism was genetic. My understanding is that medical research has proven that it is absolutely genetic. What was that Kesha remix from earlier? That was from Best of Beauty 2010. Um, it's called Ice Ice TikTok. Alright, which one has the E tank? Oh, none of them. Alright. I'm on zero lives? Alright. I want that. Ugh. E tanks are my end game insurance policy at this point. Just so I can cruise through the like, boss rush and all that shit. Ugh! It's gonna hit me. Oh, what's up, bro? What you got for me? Cool. We got some brow talking chat. Man. Ladies get pretty heated about eyebrows. One of my favorite pastimes is finding a girl who is really passionate about eyebrows and just showing them like giant ass caterpillars. And they're like, oh! Like they can't stand it. It's offensive to them. Love it. I have good brow game? Are you fucking kidding me? No. My brows are offensive. They're they're like military grade. My brows are raunchy as shit. Although, thank you for saying that. Ow. Yeah, I'm a, I let my brows run wild and free. Yeah, I'm a dude. That's our that's our luxury, I think. Well, it's one of many luxuries dude dudes have, which is Yeah, Gus's eyebrows get you real 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 pissed. I feel like Gus and I are kind of the the LA Texas analogs. We all kind of have our counterparts. Yeah, made it to the Boss doors already. Maybe this will be easy. Hmm. I'm getting a drill vibe from this guy. I'll try Toad while I'm waiting, but... No, oh, it doesn't do shit. Ow. Nope. Dust. Nope, nope, nope. That's not... There we go. It's not dust. Oh, I didn't mean to use an E-Tank. Dive, maybe? Nope. No, it couldn't be Skull. Can't really be Bright. We'll try Pharaoh. Nope. Ring? You're really gonna ring me twice in a row? Nope. No, it's not... not... Not Bright. 
So it's like, is it just Buster? I feel like I've tried everything. Everything, instead of Skull. Huh. God damn it. Ah. Uh. Damn it. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. I just really don't want to fucking... I just want this game to be over. There. Shit. Ring? I tried the ring on him and... Well, whatever. Fuck it. We're done. <clears throat> Awful unibrow. That's why the lisp. Aww, no. Poor guy. Alright, so I think it's boss... It's uh, boss rush into end of game. Oh man, this even has an E-tank in it. Wow, they were very nice. God, and a, and a life? Yeah, they kind of load you, loaded you up. Uh, ow! They loaded you up. Yeah, I don't have a unibrow, at least. Next boss's ring as well. But we're in boss rush, right? Maybe not. Oh yes we are. Oh yes we are. <sighs> Jeez, okay. Alright guys. We're coming up on the end of it here. Plus one, I'm working on it. I'm really sorry. Pretty sure this is his weakness. Because he's a dick. Yeah. Your bright, I know, is frog, toad. Don't do it there, asshole. Oh, that was really close. Whew. I'm gonna use a new tank. I'm tired of this shit. I want this game to be over. Wait. Nobody, nobody banned plus one to awesome, did they? Come on, guys. That didn't happen, did it? Or did she delete her own message somehow? you, dude. What's up, Josh's party? Can you unban? Wait, she got banned. What happened? I don't know what happened there, but she's unbanned, so... What the fuck? 
Ghost mod. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened there. That's weird. Oh, nope, that's not the right... Um... Skull? Was it Skull? It was Skull, okay. Ah, oh, shit! Hmm. Oh, come on, Bonsoir Holly. Surely... Surely there's some kind of, like, auto-backup or something. <sighs> Alright, guys. EMP Perfect Legend did it? Why? It's fucking stupid. Oh, Steph's home. Hey, Steph! I'm almost done. I do. Oops, I would look the wrong way. I was getting distracted. There we go. Whew. Right kick flips, you don't gotta tell me that. That's kinda depressing. Yeah. It's not that, it's not that. Is it... Ring? It is a ring, okay. <sighs> Your Pharaoh. He is bright, yeah. I got three E tanks. We're gonna do this. This is my last life, too. Uh. 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 Pretty sure it's drill and you have to like detonate it, yeah. Nope. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh god, I don't want to take any chances. Oh Jesus Christ, please. Just let me finish this fucking game. God, please die. Please die forever. 
<sighs> Please be dead. Are you dead? No, you're not dead. Of course not. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Great. Of course, why wouldn't there be another level? <laughs> If I recall, the last boss fight's kind of a pushover. Yeah, they give you all these little guys to, like, refill. I should have really capitalized on that. Oh, yeah! Uh, what is this guy weak to? Ring? Uh, no, it's it's got to be the homing one, right? No, it's not homing on anything. What the fuck? Oh, it's Pharaoh! Because you, like, hold the charge and then maybe you hit him or not. Ah, oh, I should have hit him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, here we go. I think I got this. <sighs> Last you tank. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Oh. God, what a slog. And how disappointing to sober up right at the end. Holy shit, I need food. <laughs> The time has come, and so have I. Jiminski, adequately put. Yep, now I gotta ride on this train. Plus one, you sat outside the library to watch the end? Oh, God bless. Thank you. Oh, enough king. Enough une, even back then. Well, we did it. We argued about video games and made it through. And here we are, beating Mega Man 4. Brittany Beth, you got it. All these nice isometric buildings. Beautiful. Kala? Yeah? Was it too much of a, uh... Did it ruin the experience for you? Well, thank you, Covert Assassin. Appreciate that. Yeah, we've been on a journey together. Oh, I'm sorry, Cauliflower. Sorry to hear that. It's not often. Only weekends. Too many rage moments? You don't like those? I assume they would be entertaining, but I guess not. There was a lot of ranting, to be fair. Too much ranting? Too hardcore for you? Hmm, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Kala. I'll keep that in mind.
Yes, Buck, I feel the same way. Um, it's possible to disagree with somebody and still respect their opinion. And that's I guess that's the thing. Like, I can, I can look back to when I was massively disappointed with the games that I... I Played a, I paid a lot for, and that was really frustrating, and it's impossible to go through that and think, like, like, games are good enough. Because there were a lot of times when I was a kid where I was like, really? Like, this is what you thought was okay to squeeze out as a video game? But, I guess going through that and, and coming out on the other end now, it's hard for me to... to be upset. But still, I can still empathize with the experience, or the emotion. So I, I understand it. I think it's just from from my perspective and you know the games I've played. <laughs> when am I playing Kingdom Hearts? Uh, shit, I should. I need to play Kingdom Hearts again. I just wish I could get achievements playing Kingdom Hearts again. That's what I want. He beat. Pretty sure there was a. Like a pickup I never got in that game. I'm pretty sure you can summon beat. Like that's a thing you can do. Yeah, back doesn't do anything. Oh I saw that you had a Kingdom Hearts set too, that's awesome. What was it of, Brittany Beth? Do you have the games? Stephanie does. Stephanie's a big Kingdom Hearts fan. I was kinda hoping she would say something, but Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. This is true. This is true. All right. Yep. You guys want to watch more stuff? Go watch Ray. Apparently he's playing Battlefront. Um, I kind of want to watch that too. Oh, you showed me. Oh, I missed it. I'm sorry. Let me click on this. Bam. Oh, the ice cream from Kingdom Hearts 2. Gosh. The two and a half hour wind up that game had where they all ate ice cream and laughed at each other. Haha. -ha. I remember starting Kingdom Hearts 2 and just being like, what is, where's Sora? Just get, whatever. Thanks everybody for watching. I think that's it for me. I definitely know that's it for me actually. I need to go eat something. Holy shit, it's been a while. I think it's been 12 hours since I've had food. But hey, booze is food in a way. Two and a half hours of Roxas. Yeah, it's a great, great intro. Good job, Square. Nice thinking. But thanks everybody for sticking it out. We beat Mega Man 4. We did it together. Uh, and next time, I guess it's, uh, Tuesday's next stream, so. <laughs> I mean, Spuck, you can go watch Ray and see if, see if it seems like a fun game to you, because it's the full thing at this point. So, but yeah, thanks everybody for the conversation, the, uh, camaraderie, and until next time. to the left now and use all of your timing to get to the very top this is the gutsy part go to the left spire and jump you'll float down to the secret entrance be careful the acid can kill you Now that you're in the palace, find the red key. Get out of this level. Go out and jump down to the ground floor.
To beat the little guy, jump over him, hit him, then jump over him again. Levitate to pick up all your points. Finally, get the other red key. Scrap around until you have enough gems. Now it is you against the wizard. If you stand right here, he can't hit you from both sides, and you're sure to win.